Today we're going to be making cream of asparagus soup from Antonio's cookbook, An Invitation to Italian Cooking. Uh, we are going to have a little bit of prep work to do. Uh, according to the recipe, we need one large potato. We decided that our potatoes weren't that large, so we're going to be using two medium-sized potatoes instead. And we're going to be using one kilogram of asparagus. So we're going to start by peeling these little guys, medium guys. And you can admire my excellent skill with a peeler. Okay, so now that those potatoes are peeled, we're going to cut them into chunks or cubish type shapes. I'm going for maybe about an inch or so. I'll go ahead and cut those in half. Okay, so our potatoes are ready and, and peeled and, and cut. So now we're going to move on to the asparagus. And we're going to start by cutting off the hard woody ends um, and discarding that. We don't want that in our soup. And if we need to, if you need to, you don't want a stringy soup either. So you may have to peel the ends of these a little bit. But so there we are. We're going to go ahead and finish cutting off the ends of this asparagus. And then in the intro to the recipe, Antonio mentions that ideally, this soup should be made with the wild asparagus that grows along the sunny roads of southern Italy in the springtime. And it just happens that we are not in Italy, let alone southern Italy. It's not sunny. It is in a northern state of the United States, and it's snowing outside. Okay, so now that we have the ends cut off our asparagus, uh, the next step is to cut off the tips. And we're going to set those aside and be using those a little later. So we're going to go ahead and cut those. And that is the next step. Okay, so now that we have the tips cut off, we're going to go ahead and set those aside and go on to the next step of asparagus, and that's just cutting them into sections. And just take a few at a time. I guess the exact shape doesn't really matter a whole lot. Let's go ahead and cut those, and we'll put this into our bowl next to me, and continue. Okay, so there are asparagus stalks chopped, and we're going to set those aside for a moment. And the next step is going to be a finely chopped small onion. Of course, that's an essential ingredient as well. Okay, so there is our onion. I'm going to go ahead and add that to the bowl with my lousy skills here. Okay, so the next step of prep work, um, we're going to be grating one ounce of Parmesan, and that's an essential ingredient as well. Okay, so as that's grated, we're going to go ahead and put it into our bowl and set that aside for a moment as well. Okay, so now that our prep work is done, we're going to go ahead and start cooking everything. We're going to start by adding two ounces of butter and melt that down. Okay, so our butter is mainly melted and it's just about ready. So we're going to start by adding our onion. We're going to let this cook for a few minutes to get a little soft. Okay, so now that our onions are done, we've set those aside. And the next step in this process is we're going to um, start bringing to a boil 1.7 liters or 3 pints of water. We're going to hand that to our pan, bring that to a boil, and we'll go from there. Okay, so now that we've brought our, brought our water to a boil, um, the next step is to be add our is to add our asparagus chunks or sections. Add that to our boiling water and we're also going to add our potato. So we're going to go ahead and add that to our boiling water. Okay and then we're going to let this simmer for 15 minutes or until the potato is tender. Okay so the next step we set our asparagus pieces aside and they're going to be simmering for 15 minutes. Our next step is to bring to a boil our tips. And so the first step in that is we're going to add some salt to our water. And then we're going to go ahead and add our tips. 
And we're going to boil these tips um, until they're tender. Perfect. Okay, so our asparagus tips are done. And we're going to go ahead and take those out of the water. Drain them. And set those aside for a moment or two. Okay, so our potatoes and our asparagus pieces are tender now. We let those boil, or simmer rather, for 15 minutes. The next step is we're going to let this cool down just a little bit um, so we don't get burned. And we're going to put this into a blender and blend it all together. Okay, so before we go ahead and blend this together, we're going to go ahead and season it with some salt and pepper. So I think you'd want, I guess it depends on your taste, we're going to go ahead and add probably a generous amount. That aside, I'm going to go ahead and add a little pepper to that. I think if there's no set measurement for this, it's kind of your taste, I think. Um, add a little pepper. Okay. So now that we've seasoned our broth, we're going to go ahead and add this to our blender. We're going to do this in several batches. I'm going to add some of the uh, some of the vegetables, the potatoes, and the asparagus, and then a little water. Okay, we're going to add to this our onions that we cooked previously. I'm going to put these all in the first batch. And then we're going to blend this all together. There we are. Okay, and here's our second batch, and we're going to repeat that process. Okay, and our second batch is completed. And we're going to go ahead and add that. Okay, so the next step in our process here in our cream of asparagus soup, without cream, is going to be to add our Parmesan, add that, and give that a mix. Okay, and now that our Parmesan is mixed in, we're going to go ahead and give it a little taste for seasoning and see if we need to add a little salt or pepper. See what we think, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, we're going to just add just a little bit more black pepper, not a lot. Just a little bit more, it's very close. Maybe just a little bit more salt. Okay, I'll give that a mix, and I think we are good to go. While the actual recipe calls for no cream, we might add just a little bit of cream for garnish. We're going to top it off with our asparagus tips for another garnish. Lemon zest. And then at the end, a little bit of lemon zest, and we will have a finished product. Okay, time for the taste taste. This is our final product after all those steps. We're going to go ahead and give it a taste and see where we are. Mm. Mm. That is delicious. That's fantastic. Mm. Mm. And you don't really need the additional cream, um, but this that is a nice touch. Mm. Lemon mm. zest in there really adds a little bit to it. Mm. Really nice light flavors. Mm. That was worth the, uh, the effort. That is very delicious. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So until next time, we're saying goodbye. Try mm. this if you Want to make a nice summery soup? Mm -hmm. And I'm too busy eating. <laughs> Enjoy. That is delicious soup. Mm -hmm. It really is. Mm -hmm.